on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jimmy Carr. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Sir Cliff Richard. Come on. Sir Cliff. That sounds pretty good, isn't it? Pretty impressive being a knight of the realm. Usually. Not so much today. Ten a penny backstage. Can I just do a quick check? Where are people from? Who's here from England? Good to know. Good to... Any Welsh people in? Yeah. Scotland? Yeah. Anyone in from Northern Ireland? Yeah. What about what about the A and other? The rest of the Commonwealth? Anyone? Yeah. Well, thanks for coming all this way. We're we're all very excited backstage, ladies and gentlemen, because we get to meet the royals later on. It's, it's incredible. What's the etiquette? What do you say when you're introduced? I mean, I guess, just call me Mr. Carr. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see me here either, don't panic. I was pretty low down the list, someone must have got ill. Um, the temptation to say something inappropriate is almost too much. I could end up in the tower by the end of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. I promise this will be the cleanest you have ever seen me. When, when, It's like a panto. When Liz, sorry, the Queen, asked me to do this this evening, I, I, was, I was thrilled because she's the best Queen I can remember. And she's taken to this job like she was born to it. Without her, this country wouldn't even have a bunting industry. She's worked very hard to get where she is today, so it's fitting that we celebrate 60 years in style. And what better way than with this man? The next performer is one of the world's greatest classical musicians. He's been playing the piano since he was three years of age. He's played to sold out concerts throughout the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lang Lang.
everybody an amazing talent. Extraordinary. Now, I hope you, everybody here and at home is having as good a time as any. Uh, as any, I meant as me. I love the occasion. If, if nothing else, I love a new tea towel. Now, it's time to introduce another absolute favourite of mine, an opera singer who was extraordinary in Les Mis recently. He's handsome, he's gorgeous. I wouldn't mind becoming his Les Misses, to see. Um, please welcome, give a huge warm welcome to my imaginary future husband, Mr. Alfie Bow. FM, real radio for real people.
gentlemen, please give a raucous and rapturous welcome to Mr. Lenny Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a phenomenal audience. Let me say, woo! Let me say, woo! -hoo! You've got to mind yourself down here because this is actually a, a traffic roundabout. This is a, ra this is a roundabout you're on. I was here, this goes to Victoria Station down there. I was here two weeks ago in my car going, and you! <laughs> the wonderful operatic voice of Alfie Bow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> His dulcet tones have brought a rich cultural texture to this brilliant event by doing the song from the Cornetto advert. No, no, we, listen, we needed a bit of opera here. It's very posh here today. We've got a lot of stirs here today. Sir Paul McCartney, Sir Cliff, Sir Elton, but I'm not intimidated. I'm a CBE. A chunky black entertainer. We've got a real treat for you now, a true national treasure. No, it's not Brian May from Queen doing a guitar solo on the palace roof. Apparently Prince Harry's up there with a 12-bore shotgun. We're not having that again. Our next performer is a British icon, a born entertainer. He is to the piano what Beyonce is to the booty shake. Please welcome the one and only Jules Holland! Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. What a lovely way to spend the afternoon, the whole day, celebrating the, how marvellous, fantastic the Queen and her family are. So, I'm going to bring somebody on to sing a song we're going to dedicate to the Queen today. And I'd like you to help me, in fact, we're going to get some rhythm going. Let me just get this out. Yeah. So please welcome now, to this stage, the wonderful Ruby Town. 